today's topic will be one of the most important topics which I have dealt. Topic would be breast masses, a very important topic for our medical students as well as general public. To start with, let's take a few clinical scenarios. Scenario number one, we would be having this typical young female coming to your clinic and complaining of rubbery masses within her breast. And on examination, you will be seeing that there will be mobility associated with these masses. The thing you would consider in this female would be a fibroadenoma or a breast mouse, not a malignant condition to be monitored. Scenario number two, we would be having second female with huge mass within the breast tissue and that would be mobile as well and the terminology if greater than 8 cm it could be a giant fibroadenoma. Clinical scenario 3 we have a young female in her reproductive age group coming to you with bilateral breast tenderness maybe complaining of masses within both the breasts these masses or lumps coming and going with the menstrual cycle. Nothing to be afraid of. It can be simply a fibrocystic disease of the breast. After that, some females, clinical scenario number four, may complain of a discharge from the nipple, a bloody discharge from the nipple. This can be a papilloma, an intraductal papilloma. Some females may complain of a discharge, a milky discharge from the breast with a swelling under the breast. A probability can be a swelling filled of milk itself, a galactosyl. So that is to be taken into consideration. <clears throat> Another scenario, a female febrile breast tenderness, inflamed breast, leukocytosis on blood examinations and she would be having swelling in one or the both breasts. That can be a result of an abscess within the breast, a simple breast abscess. Now going on to something scary. A female in her 30s, 40s or higher age group would have mass within one breast or bilateral masses but the masses would be irregular they would not be mobile there would be no mobility associated with the masses this should raise the suspicion of a cancer a breast cancer even if it is without any lymph node enlargement or axillary lymphadenopathy in the axillary region. So it needs a constant monitoring, urgent medical or surgical intervention and urgent appointment with the doctor concerned. In addition to this, sometimes a female can have in one scenario headaches, bone pains, and on just going on investigating these females, they can be having nodules within the liver, lesions within the brain, which could be a manifestation of metastatic brain disease, metastatic lesions within the brain, metastatic lesions within the spine, or hepatic metastasis originating from the breast cancer, even without a prominent mass within the breast. So the differential diagnosis of the breast masses in the form of fibroadenoma, giant fibroadenoma, fibrocystic disease of the breast, the intraductal papillomas, the breast abscesses, the galactoseals, the cancer breast and the metastatic breast cancer should always be in your mind once patients come with such signs, symptomatology and clinical features. I hope this is helpful. Thanks a lot.